Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you concept of how to use menus in Android. Basically there are two types of menu. One is the option menu, another is the context menu. Let, let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then you can provide the name of your application. I am giving the name of my application that is menu demo. Then you can choose your language and you can click on finish. Once your loading project is done, you can start developing your application. First of all, let me define my design what I want to do over here. First of all, uh, <coughs> I want one text view over here and whenever user. Uh, let me change the title of this text view. Uh, for example, this text view is in middle so I don't want text view over here you can move to design and uh, palette both together here you can uh, click on show layout decoration now first of all you need to understand that uh, basically there are two menus one is the option menu another is the uh, context menu option menu works over here in this action bar and that uh, is also known as a hardware button and context menu is work for any view but for that you need to register the context menu uh, <clears throat> i will first demonstrate you concept of option menu first of all i want to take one text view over here so i am simply taking one text view over here and here you can give the title of the text view i am giving the title of my text view that is atmia university right now you can change the color you can change the style, you can change the size. I'm changing the size that is a uh, 40 dB and you can change the text style. For example, I'm changing it bold, right? Uh, you can do all these things. I'm setting uh, this Atomi University right now. Now I want to provide here one menu and that menu is what that is related to option menu and whenever I change the color uh, using that menu I want to change the color of this text view. So very simple whenever you are dealing with the option menu you need to override one method that is on option on create option menu. Whenever you are uh, using like this you need to add the what are the menus that you want to add right. So simply you can uh, just call using your variable name menu dot and then you can call the function that is add. Here you can provide the group number, your ID and the name of the menu that you want to put right. So I am just giving the group number 1, uh, 101 is my ID and I want to display it as a first order. So the third argument is the order. Then you can add the uh, title over here what you want uh, here. So I am just adding the red color right uh, because whenever user click on this red I want to change the text color of this Atmi University as a red color. You can just uh, simply copy this and you can define the color over here red. I am just getting uh, setting here red, green and blue. Even suppose uh, if you want to set a title you can set this. now. Uh, once user click on this button, uh, I will first test this. Uh, these three options are available on my action bar or not. This menu is known as an option menu. You can see that uh, this is my emulator and whenever this uh, application is executed uh, here in uh, top layer of your uh, application and that concept is a uh, action bar see here in action bar that triple dot is available and here three th things is available red green and blue you can choose the color suppose if you choose on uh, if you click on red i want to set the color of this atme university as red so very simple whenever you select any item right so uh, for that you need to uh, override one method that is on option item selected whenever your item id is available over here in item so you can just access using item dot item id whenever user click on red i'm getting the item id that is 101 if user click on 102 uh, green then item id is 101 
2. So if 101 is there, I want to set the color of uh, this text view. So you can just simply call text view dot set. You can just call the function that is set text color and you can pass the argument that is color dot red. If the ID is 102, then we want the color that is green. If ID is 103, then we want the color that is blue. And this ID you can get using the second parameter passed in this menu dot add. You can just uh, execute your application and you can test it again. And again, you can see that see uh, whenever this uh, options are available over here, whenever you click on this color, for example, red, the color of this Atme University is changed. And here, suppose if you click on blue, then color is changed. Suppose if you click on green, then color is changed. This is the way you can change the color. Sometimes what happens, we want that, sir, I don't want uh, uh, here only the option. I want here uh, option menu also, right? So suppose if you want to add the menu over here, sub menu, then you can also add the sub menu. For example, I'm adding the S menu is equal to menu dot you can add the sub menu i want to add the sub menu for the gender right uh, let me put here question mark so uh, so uh, see what happens whenever you want to add gender by default generally we uh, want the option menu for this right uh, and and for this option menu we can add the uh, male and female value so very simple here you can add the value using s menu dot add and then you can again choose the four argument one that uh, two that is your group number and here you can provide the uh, id that you want to provide us right now i am giving the id that is one one then you can provide the order number that you want and then you can provide the string that you want to display i want to display the string that is male right now whenever user click on male i want to uh, display as a toast or you can display as a uh, <clears throat> text view also right so male and female i am taking the two argument and here you can define the different id that is 12 now i want to set a checked set a checked is the function in which you can pass true or false if you pass true then male will be by default selected right and here you can pass a set checked false at least you need to take one false suppose if you uh, pass both as a true uh, true then definitely the last one will be considered but for this you need to make the s menu dot set group checkable and you need to define that my group number group number is two and you need to provide the argument that it should allow the option menu inside the or action bar as a option menu right so you can just execute this and you can test it over here and you can ch check that see now i am getting menu inside the menu see here gender and whenever you click on gender you will get the two men or uh, two option one is the male another one is the female if you if user click on female i want to display here message and that message is you selected the female so what i am doing see uh, i am taking one more text view over here here you can take the text view and you can again click on info here you can uh, set the message that is this is my text here you can uh, set the color for example i am setting the color that is uh, has f00 and you can set the text size for example 30 sp and then you can define the text style that is bold right now this is my text is available in text view number two whenever user click on mail i want to update the value of this text view too so you can simply write the code for your id number 11 whenever 11 is selected you can set the text view dot set text and here you can just pass that he is male.
now if the 12 is selected it means if a female is selected then you can just set the message that is c is female you can test your, again your application. This is the way you can define the option inside the option. You can define the action bar and you can define the menus inside the option uh, option menu inside the action bar. See, this is my text. If you set the color over here that is red, then uh, this is uh, it will change the value of Atmiya University. And suppose if you click on here, that is gender. And suppose if you click on uh, male, then it will be he is male see suppose if you click on gender and again if you are clicking on female for example then see is female this is the way you can implement the option menu right now suppose if you think that i want to implement the uh, context menu context uh, difference between the context menu and option menu is what option menu is available over here that is uh, you can say it is uh, available as a hardware button and context menu is available for each view for example if uh, if you think that i want to change this text uh, whenever you long click over here in c is female then it should give me a, a message to uh, change the text it should give me a message to change the color so this is the way you can implement the context menu uh, for context menu you need to register your control for example let me start here i am registering my control register for context menu and i am registering the text view number two it means what whenever uh, i long click over here in on this text view i will get the menu but uh, once you register this you need to implement one method and that is on create context menu in on create context menu simply you can do the same thing that you did earlier you can add the menu here you can define the group number for example i am um, right now i am giving the group number that is 3 then you can define the id for example i am giving the id that is 201 and then you can define over here again for example i want that uh, combination of the color so i am just giving here red you need to define the order number over here i am giving the red green and blue but the difference is what now it is not a option menu now it is a context menu whenever you are ca uh, calling the context menu you can uh, not only this uh, you can define the header also you can write like this menu dot add set header title and then you can define the title that is choose color you can just test your application the difference between this red green and blue and this red green and blue is what whenever you are implementing option menu then your menu is available as a let me execute my application again whenever you execute your option menu option menu is available as a hardware buttons right suppose i am uh, setting here that is red then the color is setting red over here suppose this is my uh, this is my text view number two and i implemented the register for context menu if i long click over here then the three option i am uh, coming over here see red green and blue whenever i click on blue i want to set the color over here for this is my text that is blue so for very simple you need to implement again for option menu you are implementing the method that is on option item selected the same way you need to implement the on context item selected in context item selected uh, again you can pass the id so i'm just passing the item dot item id if item id is 201 it means the color is red so you can just set your color of text view 2 now text view 2 dot set text color and that is color dot red if user click on 202 203 then uh, same way I'm, i just want to uh, change the color red green and blue here you can mention the id 201 202 203 i want to change the color depending upon the value right uh, this is the way you can define the color now it's a task to define what suppose if you if you think that uh, sir uh, i i want to uh, display 
I, I want to display the message also, then you can also do the same thing. Very simple is over here. See, uh, so <clears throat> whenever I click over here on this is my text, and if I long click over here, and if I change the color blue, then the color of this text is changed. And suppose if you click over here and you can click on red, then the color of this is changed. And suppose if you want to change the text over here, then you can click on suppose a uh, female, then C is female, right? So this is the way and uh, uh, again you can change the color suppose if you think that I, I don't want the color uh, blue over here then you can make the color red and using uh, option menu if you want to change then you can set the color over here using this this is the way you can implement but listen friends uh, if you want to implement context menu you need to register one more thing is what you can apply your context menu for any view and the option menu is available over here only on action bar only. This is the mainly difference between the option menu and context menu. Right. Th uh, that's it from my side. Thank you for listening to me. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel.